thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel to watch one of my videos. With that being said, um, as you can see, <laughs> your girl, your girl, let me, let me let y'all see everything. Your girl is blonde, you know, mm. your girl is blonde and I, your girl is blonde and I am in love. It's, oh yes, I'm like a whole new, like I feel like this, my coworkers gave this a name before I even put it in and I'm a rock with it. Char is here. Char Char is here. Okay. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for coming back to my YouTube channel. Let me give you guys a update on everything that's been going on. Um, um, as you can see, I have a different backdrop behind me. Um, it's because I'm in my new place. So let me catch you guys up some. So much has literally happened since the last time I've made a video. Um, one being I've moved, I've changed jobs, I've moved. And yeah, I got a little boo daddy or whatever. So yeah, um, I wanted to come first and just like give you guys an update. Uh, so I have moved and an apartment tour will come soon. Um, it is like five days before Christmas, I think five or six. I don't even know when Christmas is. Um, but it's a little bit before Christmas and I have moved, I actually moved the beginning part of last month, but didn't move in, like officially started living here by my choice until the end of the, of end of November. My rent is now almost $1,300, $1,400 cheaper, $1,400 RMB cheaper than what I was paying and I have a bigger space and as you can see I have a couch and this is like my favorite part of the whole of the whole house this couch in the wall um but so i would say i'm like for the most part settled in here but i went from paying four thousand to now paying two seven uh <clears throat> so i don't have a problem disclosing that but two seven and then i have internet um which is included in my rent same thing as before um but it's a one bedroom one bath I have a proper living room, I have like an eating area, I have a proper kitchen, and when I say proper kitchen, I mean like a full kitchen, and then I have a full bathroom um, as well. So I am further, I switched jobs, and I'm, I'm further away from my job now. I have about a 40 minute commute, 40, 45 minute by train, and I'm like 10 minutes away from the metro on the bus. So I either have to take a bike or a bus to work, but I feel like it's worth it because I have fresh air. I have a huger, I have a bigger balcony. Actually, I have two balconies. I have one here, and then I have one on the other side of my kitchen, um, which is just where I store my suitcases at the moment. But I have more space, so for that, I'm thankful. So that's the biggest thing that has happened. Well, one of the biggest. Um, I've moved, and like I said, apartment tour will come soon. Second thing is I finished my contract with the company that I came here to China with. And I'm starting a new job. And for that, I'm excited. I've done training center here in China and now I'm in international kindergarten. So that change is really, for me, it's, it's good. Like I like it for the most part. I am tired though, but when I first started with the training center, I was tired all the time as well because I wasn't used to having a break in the middle of the week. But now I have it back on the weekend, so like I'm waking up earlier, things like that. Another thing is I'm I'm a little bit sick right now, like I'm coming off of a cold. But um, yeah, like I'm I'm a little bit tired. Well, I'm like tired all the time. Um, but yeah, like I just know it's because I'm not fully adjusted to um, my new place yet. But that is that. There it is. Um, so they, they also helped me with my visa and all that other good stuff. And I'm thankful for that because like, there's a lot of sketchy places out here that won't help you with your visa or like won't reimburse you the cost and things like that. So I'm happy that I'm with the company or with the school that does that whole process and they're on top of it. And yeah, so that is that. What else? I think those are like the two biggest things. Me getting a new job and me uh, moving and I'm so excited 
um, that I'm actually taking a vacation as of right now, as of today. I don't really know if it's still going to happen because we're beefing right now. But I'm supposed to be taking a trip in January for Chinese New Year for two weeks. And I'm really excited for that. So that's coming up as well. Um, yeah, so like I said, it was just an update. I changed my hair and I'm thinking I'm going I'm to do the blonde thing for like, you know, I might rock this for a little minute. Excuse my face. It is bare right now. Um, but I know rocking this, I got to be on fleek. And I might just quit being a teacher and decide to become a stripper. Like... The way I'm feeling about this, like, the way I'm feeling about this, I'm like, ew, stripper season, ew, ew, ew. So, I don't really know. But, yes, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to sidetrack. I went to, I've taken a vacation for National Week, which was the first week of October. My mom came for my birthday the end of September. So, I literally had, like, two weeks off. I took, um... For my mom when she came and then that week right after she left she was here for like a week then literally the next day after she left i went to vietnam for like three days four days and that was a great experience i would not go back to vietnam though but it was a great experience um and then like since then i really haven't been back in the gym i just and because like i was moving changing jobs all the other good stuff but i just recently got back in the gym and i got a trainer to like kind of like motivate me a little bit to to want to do it even though I know how to do a lot of things I did want a little bit of extra motivation so that is new as well um so yeah I'm just trying to like get back in the groove of things like settle completely down in my in my place and like get back in the routine of my life and doing what makes me happy in the gym it's like that clarity for me, for me to be happy. So I'm <clears throat> trying to <clears throat> get back in the swing of that. But like I said, I am a little sick. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with me. I work with a different set of kids, and these kids are, like, little. And, like, yeah. So maybe I'm just, like, attesting to that. Like, lately, I've been, like, under the weather. And then the water, not the water, the weather has been changing a lot as well. So, <laughs> It's a lot of things, but all in all, I'm still alive, as you can see. Uh, your girl is blonde, as you can see. And yeah, I'm still in China. We're going, we're working on year two now. Like this is going into my, November 22nd made a full year of me being in, well 21st made a full year of me being in China. And my contract ended with the training center on November 22nd, but I stayed an extra week for them. Because they're like, oh, I really need you to stay, uh, give or take. I stayed an extra week and still got the short end of the stick. But all is well. There's no need in complaining. Um, so I didn't stop working for them until the 29th of November. So and now I'm like transitioning to go to the kindergarten. So yeah, I'm I'm happy where I'm at right now. I'm happy with everything that's going on. So. I mean, new job new apartment new relationship there's a lot of new coming to an end in 2019 and for everything i'm super thankful and on top of that i'm super thankful for youtube and like this being me uh, talking with people and like people asking me questions and like what about this and did you have to pay this and things like that like i'm so thankful that i am able to help some people or with questions and like because when I was coming to China I didn't see a lot of things that I was interested in like the food your rent I mean like of course I saw it but I didn't feel like it was like realistic or I couldn't really grasp the concept like what you got to pay this and then you got to pay that and you got to pay building fees and you got to do that but like I'm happy that I can help someone or people can like at, feel welcoming to ask me questions and things like that so my vow um, coming to the end of 2019, I've been in China a whole year. I'm not over China. I'm, I'm, I'm still infatuated and fascinated with this country 90% of the time. Um, but I do plan on staying. And my new contract is actually for two years. So that's another thing I'm excited for. So China's got me for another two years as of right now. Um, but I'm excited for more growth. 
um, and advancement for me and more friendships and more travels. Um, so um, I'm excited, like I'm living and that's what you're here for. You're here to live and experience. And these are the memories and these are the experiences that I wanna reflect back on when I'm old and gray with my husband. Like, you remember? Or did you know that I went here or I did this and things like that? Like, this is year one down and I'm, I'm, I'm happier. Um, I've got a new outlook on things. Like, I'm ready for growth for myself a little bit more. Because it's definitely, year one has definitely been a growing experience for me. Like, I'm so much more independent and, like, emotionally in check with myself since coming to China. Like, and that's something that I can definitely say will happen or if you allow it can happen. Like if you're only relying on yourself. For the first year, I've learned a lot about saving, about who I am as a person, what I want out of life and what I want for myself. And then, like I said, like these experiences. And I feel like China has definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things. Love this song. So, like I said, like I'm, um, I'm thankful for China. Year one, I'm thankful for China. I do feel like I need to learn the language a little bit more, but overall, like it's taught me so much about myself. And I feel like anyone that comes here, um, anyone that like is thinking about coming to China to teach or just thinking about like traveling China for something, I. I can still say come and do it like you can come the way I did with the training center um, or you can just come out here and you can find work like it's all up to you but I'm thankful for like who I am becoming and I can definitely see a change in who I was when I got here someone that was quote unquote spoiled or sheltered or whatever the case may be and now a year later like I'm figuring out things and I'm resourceful in a whole different country for myself, by myself. Um.